So in this day of social media, whether it be YouTubes or Instagram, it really opens the door for people to have an opinion about you. Say something real mean. Loser. Useless. Disgusting. Are you a two-year-old? Women's kin, not do car reviews. We'll overlook the grammar on that one. Sometimes you just need to unplug and put your phone down. And that is exactly what I did when I got inside this Nero. But then I started to drive and I could not believe what I saw. Now you're gonna have an opinion about me? Are you kidding me? Oh, you're gonna try and profile me now? Only 6% normal? What does that even mean? And 94% economical? Why would you even think that? Paper towels? I told you to reuse this. I got it. Just one more tree. No, not plastic. It is really hard to be considered normal in here. Try my best to boost that up. Aggressive 0%. Trying to boost that score too. It's not working. This week, we lab test another EV. That's right, this baby is electric. And some might argue between the range and the overall packages, this could be at the top of your list if you're looking to go a little bit more green. Or should I say blue? Check out those blue details. All right, little Nero, crossover, hatchback, whatever you are, we're gonna put you to the test. A few words for up here, straightforward, simple design, easy to learn. You are not going to need a PhD for this one. Now for a cute little ride like this, I was shocked with the amount of storage up here. Oh, the claw. Look at that. Plus, you got your front console and your doors. Now, I think it personally makes sense to have your phone right up here on the wireless charger. Now you do have to plug in for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but if you need to have your phone closer by your coffee, check out that little hole. Woo, little peep through. Look at that. Now it does mean this cord is extending over this open area, but it gives you some options. Now even though the screen might not be as big, let's say, as the Volvo we did last week, fits the space nicely, and if you think about it, the Apple CarPlay display is probably the same size, or if not bigger, than last week's video. And since this is an EV and we want to be more efficient, one way to conserve the battery is with this driver-only temperature controls. Tap that. No need to blow air on non-existent passengers. It will also help with your range. Now the blue details in here, I know you already got a sneak peek, but they are a really nice touch. It gives it a little bit more character. The dial shifter especially looks kind of unique, but it has this bright blue ring around it. And at nighttime, if you look at it a little bit too long, I felt like I was getting some double vision. So just be careful with that. And these seats are pretty comfortable. This one is manual. This is electronic, heated, ventilated, heated wheel. I do have to make one point though. I feel like this leather, now it's artificial leather. It's not vegan. I know sometimes people ask about that, but it has a scent to it. Now, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like every Kia I get smells the same. So there must be something that they're using in their materials. Am I just going crazy or does anyone else know what I'm talking about? Aside from that, overall, I feel like this looks better than the Nissan Leaf, the Chevy Bolt. I feel like Kia, you win on design. Now, when it comes to that second row seat, 60-40 split. You can stretch out your legs, nice room, pretty standard. I do like that there are vents in the center and they do not get blocked when the seats go down, which is a bonus for Andy. Some storage in the doors and the seat backs. Rear space looks like this, seats up versus seats down. Plus you get some underfloor storage, cargo cover and charger fit. Now it is a manual lift, there's no power button, but it's not that heavy. And the plus is Andy can jump in solo. And I feel Andy fits best when one or both seats are down. That way she can see a little bit more forward and I'm not shoving her in this rear space. Right girl? Yeah. Let's go for a ride.
Now this little Nero is quiet to start and quick to move. 201 horsepower, 291 pound-feet of torque. But not the most quiet. I was actually surprised with the amount of road noise in here. Andy seems unfazed, but if you have an anxious dog, just something to keep in mind. Now I have been pleasantly surprised with how nice this ride feels. It does not have all-wheel drive, but I still feel planted, and those Michelin tires, they are real good. Now because I have those seats down, Andy is a little bit on an incline, but she seems comfy and I can reach back pretty easy to give her a treat. Now this is slated to have about 239 mile range, which is great. Personally, I think this is better as a daily driver, not for long road trips when it comes to fur kids. Make it your commuter car, run around town, do errands, charge it at home each night, top it off, and you're good to go. And while those public stations are fast and a lot more prevalent these days, have you ever tried to charge an EV in the middle of winter? The cables are cold, it's like wrestling a frozen garden hose, and I always have trouble with the charging kiosks. Half the time they won't turn on, I gotta call customer service, it stops charging halfway Come on. through. So from my experience, while it may only take an hour to reach 80%, by the time you get the machine up and going, it is way longer. Have the mobile Which app. is not the best when you have a fur kid in the back. However, with that said, I do appreciate that the charging port is in the front because those charging cables are not always the longest. It's a lot easier popping it in the front than stretching it around to the side. <sighs> Until charging stations can really step up their game and work 100% of the time, every time, then I would feel more comfortable taking a road trip with a fur kid. For now, we'll stick to the local roads. And my shoes got all dirty from the charging cables. Yuck! Now you saw in the beginning the different driving styles. And even though we've managed to bring it up a tad, we'll accept the fact we're economical. I don't really know how that rating quite works, but you do have different driving modes. Eco, normal, and sport. And when you put this thing in sport, you can feel a punch. Sport mode, here we go! Oh yeah, we got it up. Drive in sport mode and drain your range. That's how you become more aggressive. The other cool thing about this Nero, because it is an EV, is you can pretty much drive using one pedal. Take your foot off the accelerator, it starts to slow down. Now it's not dramatic, so that's kind of nice. You're not jerking forward. But you also have these paddles. The left slows you down, regenerative braking. The right is for more power, but it's definitely not as powerful as some of the other vehicles we've tested. Pretty much every safety feature comes standard, which is fantastic, including smart cruise control with stop and go. Look for that green wheel. My hands are on the wheel, but I am not steering, and it is totally going around these bends. Okay, that needed a little help, but other than that, it's doing a pretty good job. And even though this is a little smaller and we may not be able to carry around as many passengers, you can definitely fit a large dog or two in that rear. And I get it, it's pricey, but once you accept the fact that EVs are just expensive, and if you really believe that this is better for the environment or you're just tired of traditional car maintenance, definitely check this out. And with that said, our top five doggo features are, one, the easy to load low rear. Two, the range. I was surprised with how much we were able to drive around before we had to charge up. Three, Andy's nice and close to those second row windows in this rear cargo space. That's the benefit of having a more petite ride. Four, the quiet startup. Five, the nice open wide space back here. Big thanks to Kia for letting us lab test this Nero EV. It goes to show you could still have a small ride, yet tote around a big old pup. And while I might not recommend this for long road trips when traveling with a dog, it's definitely a great daily option. So Andy, with that said, is this lab approved? Yep, totally lab approved. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, because next week we're gonna post a sneak peek of something that we're gonna launch pretty soon. We'll see you next time, bye.